This is Game Informer's Replay. I'm Andrew Reiner, and Star Wars is the best thing ever. Ever? That cannot be debated. That's Kyle Hilliard. I could probably debate with you. I'll Leo Vader's in Kyle the control Hilliard. room. Star Wars! And uh, <laughs> we also have Serial Vasquez here. Hi, Star Wars. Biggest Star Wars fan in the office, Serial uh, Vasquez. We're playing Revenge of the Sith on PS2, a game I gave a 5.75 to. But this looks cool. How could you do that? It looks like great you. lightsaber action. I said uh, in my review, harnessing the true power of the dark side, Revenge of the Sith belts out a demented cackle as it unmercifully bastardizes the expectations of fanboys and applies a suffocating force choke to people seeking a game with ripe with respectable lightsaber action. Okay, so your Star Wars references actually fit in here as opposed to your... Uh, <laughs> Other writing. What was that? A Ape Escape? guide that yes, you wrote? Yes, yes. I'm actually just, talking about Star Wars. <laughs> a bunch of Star Wars references. Uh, <laughs> without question, the only suitable home for this game is in a molten river on Mustafar, right next to Anakin's legs and arm. <laughs> It'd be funny if you were constantly That's referencing Ape dark. Escape in that room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's play. I'll play again. So you like this game a lot, yeah. then. Yeah. I, I, I distinctly remember when this movie, uh, game came out. The movie as well, actually. Um, but because uh, I, I worked at GameStop at the time, and I remember it being a big deal because it had clips from the movie in the game. Like, like they just instead of just making new cutscenes, which I, it looks like there are actual cutscenes, they just took footage from the film and put it in here. Mm -hmm. And it came out like a couple days before the movie came out too, which was crazy. Huh. So it was like a way to watch parts of Revenge of the Sith. And as you can see, this is in true 4K. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, this is higher resolution than you saw in theaters. Yeah, this is in actually an AK monitor, so that's why the picture is so small. <laughs> oh, is that Lucas that typed that, by the way. War! Explanation point. What is it? Oh, I mean, uh, let me backspace that. <laughs> the Republic is crumbling. He had a comma at first, but he's like, yeah. you know what? Let's put an exclamation there. So, we all agree this is the best of the prequels. Right? Yeah. I think so. I, I won't disagree. Yeah. Order, Order 66 is, is very cool. That sequence is done very well. Where, yeah, it's just a montage of a bunch of, of people death. getting murdered. Yeah. Um, the fight in the volcano is cool. Is it? Uh, yeah, in concept, I think it's so. cool. I, think I have the high cool. ground. That's the only thing I've seen from that fight is the picture of the guy saying, I have the high ground while he's literally... <laughs> Wait, you haven't older. seen this movie? I have not seen... Well, I probably saw it at some point when I, I don't remember. Wait, I thought you How? had seen it. The prequel? How I do you, you not know if you've seen a movie? Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Because I know the thing about serials, when Last Jedi came out, you went and rewatched the originals recent, recently, yes. right? And you had not watched them in a the, long the time. The original trilogy I watched. Okay, but you didn't go back and rewatch the. No. And you don't know if you've seen this then? I don't remember. I feel like I've seen parts of this movie very often. I know, <laughs> but I don't know if I've actually seen this entire movie like front to back. Okay. I actually but, really like the sequence. Well, you're about to. So. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. So, but you're, it's funny that, like, yeah, your familiarity with this is really more just higher ground gifts than it is actual memories of seeing this I mean, movie. like most people on the internet, I was aware of the part where Darth Vader says no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. mostly because it turned into the do not want thing, yeah, yeah. that meme. So, the, yeah, the meme generation of this movie right. means more to you than the actual That's characters. right. Star Wars has brought <laughs> okay. a lot of endearing Charles memes to my heart. To okay. Oh, you're so, when uh, does the film footage stop? No. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I am controlling this. It's a really brave decision for George Lucas to display the health bars of every character <laughs> as they were in every scene. It made it easier to follow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm Anakun. Anakun? Yep. Anakun. I can't tell if you're messing with me or not. Like, is it Anakin and I was just... It's Anakin. <laughs> okay. It's, it's Anakin. Sure, it's Anakin. <laughs> okay. Use the force, Anakin. Uh, is that... That's no way. That's not Ewan McGregor and... And, it is. And Anakin yeah. Skywalker. It's all of the real... That's actually Kenny Baker in R2. <laughs> they they, <laughs> they, they rendered him. He's in there. <laughs> okay. So if you, like, break the boundary video, oh! and you go inside R2-D2. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That'd be incredible. Just a Kenny Baker model in there. What do I do Super detailed. Just get a uh, break the camera sequence and just, like, dive into R2 and see if that's yeah, the exactly. case. <laughs> oh, super battle droids. So, does it... I mean, does it... Because, like, all anybody wanted when this game came out, and I was one of those people, even though I heard it was bad because I probably read your review, Reiner, and did sign <laughs> Look up at to play this. It. 
Like movie anybody, magic. All anybody wanted was a game where you could hit square and swing a lightsaber. Right. Like that just it had, it had been a while. We all were super excited about the new Star Wars movie. I mean, this was like what 04, 05? Uh, yeah, or is that oh yeah, it's around that time, right? So, right so like character action games are like Ninja Gaiden, God of War. Those were pretty big. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. those were the model to emulate it. Yeah. So like we were excited about that genre. We <laughs> hadn't played a Star Wars action game that we liked in a while. The new movie was coming out. We're all super excited. And then this came out. And it was just kind of a dud. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look bad though. Like the the movement, like. You know that looks kind of cool. It, look, it doesn't. It yeah, looks saber fun, action you know? looks neat. Definitely like, but, it looks like they spent money on this game to make it. Yeah. <laughs> like we later we got. Um, God, what I Force, Force, Force Unleashed. Force Unleashed, which that was probably the best like Star Wars action game. Maybe, yeah, or uh, I would say the or character Jedi Knight game. Yeah, which that plays more like a shooter, right? Because like you. What am I doing? You're saving the galaxy. You're collecting back the tanks. Where did these guys come from? Dude, they're everywhere. I'd probably say Star Wars Pit Droids. The puzzle game was probably. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was good. What Yoda I stories? Know what that is what's Pit Droids? You would manipulate little octagons on the ground to make Pit Droids go the right directions. What? What did you play that on? A Macintosh computer. Oh okay. Mm. It's like a learning game, right? Yeah, I played it when I was very very young. I loved it. Oh, I'm not and Pit Droids. They were in the pod race. There were those little things that would collapse into like a little container. That's right. They were in Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer as well. <laughs> Probably legitimately the best Star Wars game. It's hard to argue against Is that. Is that a question? Game? <laughs> who will fight was me Was it on a this? game? Who's, yeah, or was it dares? a movie? It's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> was Star Wars Pod Racer <laughs> for the 64 a game or a movie? <laughs> we'll never know. Oh, watch this. This, this is, is why time. they're Master and alone. Apprentice. I'm on it. They work so well together. Uh, it's controversial, but my favorite Star Wars game is Shadows of the Empire. I've played that mm. game so much. And I'm, I will forever be sad that I wasn't working at Game Informer when we played it on replay. If we ever start doing games again, we gotta play Your Shadows of the Empire. Okay. We're gonna have to restart at some point, right? <laughs> Someday, yeah. Episode oh. 1000? Yeah. <laughs> There's only a thousand games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We play the series where we play through all 1,000 games. <laughs> and we usually do do two, two, two games an episode, so it's yeah. like 2,000 games. So right. we only need about, yeah, about fi either 500 episodes right. or there are 2,000 games. It's a secret <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Whichever comes first. <laughs> uh, you having fun, Runner? I am, actually. I'm really enjoying really talking earning, about Star Wars. Yeah, yeah you're your words, Aren't you? Yeah, I mean, I just... R2! I wasn't old enough to appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Really a lost gem of its time. He says the droids have activated lockout protocol. Is no, he said that f***ing hurt. <laughs> <laughs> they censor him a lot. What is that actor's Caravan. name again? I, already, I forgot his name. Hayden. Hayden? Christensen. Christensen? Yeah. Hayden Panettiere. Oh, yeah. She, oh, he was great in Until Dawn. <laughs> Save, <laughs> he was great Save the cheerleader. Love Save the Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're in trouble now, right? <laughs> Just Ryan. immediately <laughs> shot. Ow! <laughs> Thanks. There. I'm on it. But is that uh, Hayden Pennant? No, no. Okay. no. It's about time. Oh, that was deadpan enough to be him. <laughs> you guys know what movie I will defend? That did it. What movie will you defend, <laughs> Kyle? <laughs> that uh, did it. Jumper. Classic replay game. Jumper. Jumper. I have not seen the. I think Jumper, which stars ha Hayden Pennantier. Look at him. <laughs> Is a little bit slightly better than people give it credit for. Take care of it. That's I a really it. impassioned defense. <laughs> <laughs> not saying it's good. Not saying you should watch it. I'm not saying I'm going to die on this hill, but I'm saying, would you like to defend the movie <laughs> Jumper? I'd be like, yeah, sure. I'm just saying, Jumper, everyone treated it like the worst thing that's ever happened to cinema. And it's like, you not, not. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst thing that ever happened to cinema, Kyle? Oh, uh, episode two attack. First jump. Isn't Jumper like. A superhero movie, except everybody has the same superpower. Isn't that what was going on? Yeah, in that movie? kind of. Yeah. Watch this, guys. They jump. No, 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 no. I just the thing about Jumper that I was rubbing the wrong way. Sorry to just sidetrack the Jumper, but someone, because there's a scene in that movie where he's in his apartment and he uses his special power, his Jumper ability, mm -hmm. to like jump to the refrigerator, jump to the kitchen, and then jump back to the TV. And I remember people complaining about that as being like, 
he's he had just walked to the fridge like he's got, and, and I just thought that was absurd. Like if you had that superpower, you're telling me that you wouldn't exactly. use it to yeah. jump like five feet to the fridge? Of course you would. One, I'd be nowhere near as physically fit as he was. Ex- in that movie. Exactly. Yeah. Like he should be a big obese just fat guy. Never do exercise ever again. Yeah, I can just yeah. teleport wherever I want. Why would you? And Sam Jackson has like bleach white hair in that movie, which is weird. But you yeah. know, I'm into it. Bold creative choice. <laughs> The only thing I remember about Jumper, because I've never seen the movie, is that the game version of it had some of the easiest achievement points you could possibly Oh, yeah, that was an Achievement Hunters game for sure. But, yeah, Star Wars is cool. (laughs) You know, this did... I know the the people didn't like the prequels that much, and they're like, oh, George Lucas ruined everything, but the Clone Wars cartoon, both the animated one and the CG one, are really good uh, in the long run. There's obviously some bad episodes, some moments with a lot of Jar Jar, but overall, I really like those. Wasn't wasn't the original and Clone Wars shorts, weren't they like like five-minute shorts that they, that were like premiere yeah. on Cartoon Network, and they were like really hyped up as like, we're going to show you a five-minute short thing of Star Wars. Yeah, and it was like Craig McCracken, I think, or Jenny Tartakovsky. Like, yeah. That's and they were, they were, those are really Dostoyevsky. cool. Dostoyevsky. Oh, it's Do- <laughs> Theodore Dostoyevsky got the animation. I'm back in the game, going to make some Star Wars shorts. <laughs> Wait, aren't you a Russian author? No, no, I'm in the Star Wars and cartoons. Not anymore. (laughs) Did you see my Star Wars hat? (laughs) (laughs) But I really like what these movies did for the Jedi, especially. Like, kind of showing their footprint in the the galaxy, right? What they're capable of. It made them superheroes, you know? Yeah. Which is cool. Celibate superheroes. (laughs) Well, Anakin's not. That's for sure. Yeah, but that was the the evil thing about That's him. What, yeah, <laughs> That's why I went to the dark side. Yeah, because we fell in love. It was an important lesson for me to learn. Guys, what do we want? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want this. Make sure to keep all your force on the inside. Wait, what happened? <laughs> that is the big takeaway from that movie. <laughs> oh, Sorry. oh, oh, oh! Can I go back? Okay, we want force push. Oh. Saber throw. The important thing I they just did was make one of these love look as unappealing as possible. <laughs> <laughs> we should get all of them. But let's do this. They just validated every kid's like opinion. That's like, oh, love is gross. <laughs> Crap! It's like, look at this. This is terrible. Yeah. Why What's do you have, have so many points? Metaphorians are just cooties. <laughs> that is a lot of points. You probably could have filled out a bar of just one thing. Yeah. Right? Why didn't they just like cut that into thirds and nope. you just like just <laughs> really yeah. just working? There's this. some I'm being skill very points inflation here. I'm being very strategic. <laughs> <in how I'm laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Got to make sure your grapple is just as... Okay, also, wait, by the way, does it not actually level up until you go all the way to the end of a bar? Oh, I guess not. Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. So there's <laughs> level two and three. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. yeah, we sure. don't need to say... We're... I just like the experience of, like... Managing these uh, experience bars like they were spinning plates of like, oh, now I got to put one over here. Now I got to go over here. Oh, no, now this part's deficient. <laughs> well, that's uh. not going to work with that one this low. <laughs> oh, what was... Didn't Reiner the other day? Didn't you mention his first name? Or no, that was Sheaf. 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 Yeah. yeah. Sheaf Palpatine. Sheaf. Ben Sheaves. Master Chief Palpatine. Oh, there's Grievous. Grievous. He's sick, but he's a robot. It's weird. <laughs> Did you know that he is played by uh, Sarah Michelle Geller? Oh wow, <laughs> that's her voice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's really good in this. I mean, yeah, she really inhabited that character. I didn't even know it was her. So, all right. I, again, I don't know <laughs> I much about now. the prequels. Is this is is Grievous a thing where they put a human in a sort of a robot shell, or is he a robot to begin with? Uh, no, he's he's an actual living being, like an alien being. There's a oh, toy. Okay. The expanded lore showed what he looked like. Oh, okay. So he's really cool, actually. So he's like a living being. He's like Krang from Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I mean he is messed up. Okay, like he's got that cough. Like he's he's a wreck. Warning, fuel breach in I had no. I yeah. I thought he was a robot with like a computer virus uh-uh. or something. Uh-uh. Is there anything like? That? Hey, Leo, look him up is there- on Wikipedia. <laughs> is there anything like that robot voice in Star Wars? Like any, is there any time a, a robot voice says something like that in Star Wars? Because uh, I don't think I. The battle droids talk in English. They have computerized voices. Oh, okay, that's a cool. Because mostly it's all beeping, and everyone seems to, for whatever reason, understand them. Yeah, that's I what mean, I wanted to see in Star Wars. Is just like a scene of people being taught. Okay, beep beep boop means this. <laughs> oh, do I gotta so push him in? The... Everyone just seems to intuit it like they're speaking English. 
Yeah, that's a good point. Like, did someone? Yeah, did they learn that beeping language? I yeah. guess. Like, that's part of. Yeah, they school. understand. It. Yeah, it's like we. You have to take an ESL class, and one of them is like robot droids. Or do they have like Hitchhiker's Guide style, like fish in their ears that just translates everything? Huh. Mm. Is that the case, Reiner? No, they they oh. learned the language. The twist in episode nine is that we're actually just speaking Spanish the entire time, <laughs> and it was like a movie f- film trick where it's just like it's about it's a metaphor, you know. <laughs> It's a metaphor, you For know. language. It sounds like something Lucas would say. Yeah. Grievous was originally a Kalish from the planet <laughs> Kali. Okay. Now he's a cyborg. <laughs> so what did he originally look like? Was Did he was like a... We'll show a picture. Well, I can't see it. Yeah, it's we're really neat, editing. isn't it? Yeah, that looks cool, I assume. Cool? <laughs> What'd you say, Leo? Isn't that cool? You like that? I love it. It's so good. He's he kind of attractive. He's a little, little like Goku. Yeah. Oh, I'm super into it now. Also, yeah. I mean, similar in the way that like people from a planet are just called like the race of their planet, like Namek, is well Namekians, and Kalish is... Well, we're Earthlings, right? Well, we're humans, though. Like, we don't call it... We usually don't refer to ourselves as Earthlings. We should. Speak for yourself. <laughs> all right. From this now on, we are all Earthlings. All this sewer water is gross. But, like, something like Earthlings would say something from the planet Earth, so that could apply to almost any species on Earth. Like, dogs could also be oh, Earthlings. Yeah. Great point. I'm just hey, saying. Uh, there are we're some trying flaws. to break right. this awesome lore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Stop shooting me. I'm trying to push this button. I got this. <laughs> Use caution as he's being hit by a laser from off Ow. screen. I'm I don't know. Out of juice I, here. I don't know why I just I hear the Earthworm Jim Ow whenever <laughs> like <laughs> you and McGregor's getting hit. Ow! He played Earthworm Jim. Oh, is that right? You know who actually played Earthworm Jim? Trivia time, everybody. Jim okay. Riley. That's, that's right. <laughs> that was uh, Dan Castellano. Oh, that's Homer. Homer Simpson. That's right. I actually don't know. Oh, if he was, oh, oh no! Oh. Oh, poor guy. I don't know if he was Damn. in the game, but he was definitely in the show. That guy got chopped in two. Wait, are you're playing as Obi Wan now, dude? I've been playing as him for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I know. I didn't. I didn't realize you were switching back and forth. That's how seamless it was. Oh my gosh. So, can Anakin not throw his sword? Is that sort of the big difference of just? Yeah, he just one can chuck his sword. When he does it, it it just explodes. Oh. <laughs> He's not trained enough. But from like a gameplay perspective, is that sort of like, hey, these two characters play differently, so it's the game is more fun for that reason? It's actually what really sets him off and turns oh. him into Vader. I can't believe I can't throw my sword! <laughs> oh! <laughs> and Obi's, Obi-Wan's all like, why don't you try your left hand, Anakin? <laughs> just, and he tried that and just explodes again. Just chuck it. Just throw it. It's not that hard. Who cares? Maybe underhand. <laughs> Get up on hi- get up on the high ground over here and throw it. <laughs> nice grapple. Thank you. They called it scrap metal. But they're a robot. Well, anyway, if anybody wants reading material for the next month, check out General Grievous's Wikipedia <laughs> Yeah, it goes on and on, doesn't it? It's they, crazy. They printed it into a book, right? Yeah, yeah. The Wikipedia entry for General Grievous. I... I really felt like he came out of nowhere in Revenge of the Sith. Like, I'm just doing what Anakin's doing over here. <laughs> <laughs> We're just doing this thing. Jedi is as Jedi does. Oh. Is it this way? Backtracking? What are we doing? Is there something I gotta blow up? You gotta throw your sword at something. Lightsaber. Uh, but it, Grievous was oh, not in jump. episode two, or right? Of course. No. I don't, not that I remember. Stop looking at me big Star Wars fan over here and I would <laughs> I would know if this was the case because I really felt like all like I remember going to see episode 3 and being like am I is this a bad guy like who is this guy why is he coughing what's going he on he was in uh, that animated series that's where he debuted okay so I since I skipped that yeah I was confused it was my fault is what you're saying you blew it yeah okay. you're a fake fan is the issue yeah oh, okay so are you going to upgrade Obi-Wan separately no. yes I think so. Interesting. I'm going to take more time on that one, though. <laughs> really, yeah. just do just it. Just really right. think about my choices. You're not nearly careful enough with it again. <laughs> He's reckless. He's is young. The Obi-Wan lightsaber is the best weapon ever created in fiction? Like most. Well, it's, oh, oh man, here you go. Powerful. Mm, is it? Jam I don't it know. There. I actually think it might be because it's hard for me to think of a weapon I've like done. Instantly, like instantly, thought was cooler, you know, because they're all sort of. Even though this is a variation on a sword, the machine gun leg from Planet Terror. 
Mm. Yeah, but that's just a gun, though. I mean, that is yeah. just a sword. Yeah, that is glowing with energy. You can I, hold two lightsabers while using your machine gun. Light. You, you can true. you can be dismissive about anything, Kyle. <laughs> it's just Star Wars. It's just a war about stars. Yeah, it's just a bunch of <laughs> just a bunch of movies. It's just of images that appear on your screen in sequential order. I don't understand what the big deal is. <laughs> You're right, Zero. You're right. That's a good point. Uh, the gravity gun is cool. Yeah. But that's not in a movie. But that still counts though, right, Reiner? In this argument? Yes. Well, I think his argument was ever created. Ever created in fiction. Any kind of fiction. Like, I think, like, I would honestly put, like, gravity gun and lightsaber side by side. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I keep thinking back to powers, because I like teleportation a lot. But yeah. Well, it's, it's not a weapon, so it's not, it doesn't really count. What about, like, the portal gun, though? That's true. Like, portal you, gun is pretty cool. That's not, but it's never really used as a it's weapon. A, it's a tool more than a weapon. Yeah. But it can be used. What am I missing? Weapon. Uh, oh, okay. there you go. You just had to <laughs> hit it with hit your the green. I'm just going to be real, jer real jerk and say that. I, I prefer Beam Sabers from Gundam, which originated in the same year as Star mm. Wars. Is that right? I think so. I think they were both... I, I think they both came out in, like, 79 or something. Beam Sabers. Beam Sabers. Totally different. Whoa! <laughs> these are the, these oh, sabers are used by giant robots Whoa. and not people. I mean, that is cool, I'll admit. Shut <laughs> <laughs> is it just like, like a, a <laughs> gathering, a concentration of midichlorians? Is that why it's like a glowing thing? It's like, oh, jump on this. Yeah. It's kind of like your midichlorians in your feet. <laughs> well, you, if you take a black light, you know, oh, well, you okay. can find the midichlorians. Yeah, that's how I explain that one. Dude. Are those called vulture droids? No, no, those are the bigger ones. I don't remember these guys' names. My friend was telling me about S cells in Dragon Ball Z. S cells? S cells, the creator coming out afterwards and saying that it was S cells that gave the Super Saiyans their abilities. I Super cells. I don't know what that is. This is the first I've heard oh. of it. Do you know I, about like, that? No, was I, I'd always do, there was like that episode of Dragon Ball Z where they just talk about how it's just key. It's just your internal energy and you and the reason you no. can fly is There's by, science. There's everything is based on science now. Yeah, because the way they fly is that they put energy below them, them and they yeah. push themselves up. So you, your friend was wrong, I guess? Or the creator was wrong. Oh, the creator. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. I have never... I haven't heard about that. That's weird. I mean, Suryo are the biggest Dragon Ball fans in the world. Be, yeah, to be fair, Akira Toriyama doesn't exactly... <laughs> there was that interview, I think, where he talk, where they talked about, like, uh, Mercenary Tao, which is a character he created, and yeah. he said, Who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, oh, come on. That is... Nice. That Stare works. at it a little longer. <laughs> that is an amateur move right there. It's not the Obi Wan I know. Ah! <laughs> Ow! God. Thankfully, I can just tank it with my body. <laughs> That's the Jedi's secret power. <laughs> they're not actually blocking those lasers with their sword and they're, bouncing they're, them back. They're just they're just real buff. Them. They just flex their muscles and deflect it. <laughs> they absorb them, and then when they go potty, they <laughs> unleash them. That's right. It's wreak havoc on toilets. Man, just so many droids. How much? Do you think one of those costs? Oh, way that. more. Yeah, than you now expect. that we know they get sold by arms dealers uh -oh. who are indifferent to the whole conflict. Yeah. That's right. How do they? How much do they go for? Yeah, how many a lot credits? Of time gambling. Well, how much does like a real doll go for? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the economics right of scale are so different in the world of Star Wars. Do you, you think know? that's where they started before they made the clones? <laughs> Just real dolls. It's that like, is, there, we're one step away. If yeah. We're being so honest. robots <laughs> to real doll to clones. Wow. So we need that missing chapter. We need Disney. the prequel prequels. The prequel prequels. Episode negative two, negative one, and zero. <laughs> and you know who bought the most of them? I don't think so. Who bought them? Yoda. Wow. Yoda. Oh, he gets lonely. Yeah. <laughs> Up on Dagobah. And that's why the Jedi are totally cool with not reproducing, because they have real dolls. <laughs> <laughs> this, this explains so much. Oh, my gosh. And Anakin just didn't want to put up with that. He just, just like, didn't want to put. He didn't want to go through the investment. Early Kodor era Jedi just being like, "No, oh, this is totally fine. This is a this is a perfectly good substitute for people." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're like, "Hey, Yoda, you want to go out to get some drinks and death sticks?" And he's like, "To my penthouse, I go." <laughs> and they're all like, "Well, why are you going up there?" And he's like, hey, 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 hey. "Waiting for me <laughs> is Debra." <laughs> Since the Jedi are all science guys now, <laughs> you know, there's really no difference. Yeah. 
God die. I will grab your ass and throw you into the muck. Or not. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, that's so funny. We, like, is there, do their little claws have sort of anything that could block an actual beam sa or lightsaber? Sorry. Uh, Thank you. Or is it, are they just not going to explain the part where... Holding up their hands, yeah. just hoping for the nope, best. Can't cut through this now. <laughs> Who's over here? Combat stance. <laughs> uh, another cool. I sense something. Oh, he senses something. Wow. He's a real Jedi, this guy. There's a. <laughs> he's just trying to prove he's a Jedi. Yeah. I <laughs> sense a used real doll somewhere <laughs> around here. <laughs> it's like a psychic trying to like play up the fact that they're Jedi. I'm just like. I can sense something in your I'm, past. I'm, I'm, been... I see a letter of the alphabet. <laughs> Previously, in previous years, you were alive. I'm hearing from okay. a John? Do you know a John? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, John. I knew uh, one of the people I walked by this morning was named John. Yeah, yes, yes, that's who I'm talking about. Oh. That's right, I'm a Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be very important to the rest of your life. What are you doing, Anakin? He's helping. <laughs> Jeez. He's posing. You have him set to defensive mode. <laughs> This is what you taught me, <laughs> Obi-Wan. So was there a conversation about him wearing so much black? Right, he's in brown, man. <laughs> no, oh, uh, Anakin. You he's in brown. Anakin. <laughs> Anakin's wearing black, dude. It's a darker shade. Well, you know that's those are Sith colors, yeah, right? Yeah, that's still a conversation that's like, why are you dressing like this? This He's not in black yet. He's basically he's, in black. Do you, his... Are you colorblind? Like... No, I have his toy. It's brown. All right. That's black. Did they ever talk about oh, that's later. why different people have different colored lightsabers, or is that just not at all? It's like, like all the, the bad guys have well, red lightsabers. Well, if they're Jedi consulates or guardians, right? From KOTOR? Isn't that how it was? You well, get to pick your own color. Because Jedi's, Jedi's all make their own lightsabers. Yeah. Like, that's part of becoming a Jedi, and then they, they get to choose the crystal the that they want to put in there. So the, He's a big grass. There we go, guys. Look at the, this. All the bad guys oh. are just... I like red. It's yeah. badass. <laughs> when a kid, when a don't kid, worry about it. <laughs> when a kid is like, my favorite color is red. The parents yeah. get they get concerned. Oh jeez. <laughs> Gonna take away your lightsaber. Oh. <laughs> Where did you go? If you ask what force power they want, and they say push. You're good. <laughs> but if they say choke, need some special counsel. Get a psychologist. Wow, I don't remember it looking so. CGI. It's a 4K. Are you oh. kidding? The prequels are just 100% CG. I know, uh, I know, but like at the time I thought it blended a little better, but going, oh. like R2 looks way computer, way more computerized than I remember. I'm sure the format doesn't help it, but it does look very bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not going anywhere until so we take care of these robots. Oh my god. We okay. got this. Don't worry. Obi-Wan's, like, showing off. <laughs> <laughs> this is why Anakin was the greatest Jedi that ever lived, is because he just stand in place and guard all the time. Yeah, couldn't be killed. <laughs> the unkillable Jedi, they called him. Yeah, he could only block horizontally, though. That's why Obi-Wan <laughs> was able to defeat him. Because <laughs> he, he, he had the high ground. I can't block from above. Cover me. Your lightsaber will burn through that door. We've got company. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but we've got company. <laughs> wow, it did a little twirly ballerina thing. Wow. What? Oop, keep trying that. What door? One of those. There you go. The saber lift is cut. here. You can tell they're British. <laughs> so you can saber Master, cut. Do you get to make your own design? You yeah. Get to match circle? No. Oh. Just, <laughs> uh. Oh, does it? Do you trace no. it like Harry Potter? There you go. Yeah. Oh, what are you drawing? Is that a Labo? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. A Labo. Reiner thing? made that himself. He used his imagination to make a door. <laughs> Wait, that's the door. <laughs> <laughs> the door locks on. Them. Don't worry. There's an extra door. Jesus Christ, this place is just littered with robots. Now be, long, master. be careful. Peace. <laughs> always on the move. <laughs> Those pesky humans, always moving. 
<laughs> he loves to move towards things that we're supposed to do. If he sees something nearby, he'll approach it by moving. He hates sitting still. <laughs> Just an example of the classic dialogue for these films. I should go watch these movies. These seem pretty interesting. They're cool as hell. Oh, yeah, man. Really good moments. Like Dexter this. Jetster. Like the part where, is this an actual part of the movie where Anakin is on top of yeah, the Yeah, so. this is the extended cut. Oh. It's I mean, a, I think, all one shot. Man, I don't know how you'd understand the movie without this scene. <laughs> those weren't in the movie. Yeah, those weren't in What the hell? Those look cool as hell. Why weren't they? They look like Gundams, right? Exactly. George is like, let's not put everything cool in the movie. Let's save yeah. some for we gotta save the some really for the great game, game we're making. Game. <laughs> Have you guys watched that Netflix documentary, The Toys That Made Us? Yeah, I watched one of them. Yeah, the Star Wars one. Super interesting. What? Tell us about it, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need. <laughs> I, just wanted, about I, I just wanted to let people know that Kenner's I watched it toys. and I'm cool. Didn't yeah. want to discuss it in any real just depth. Just going to do a straight up advertisement for it. <laughs> well, it's cool because like, everyone passed on making Star Wars toys except for that one company. What was the name? Kenna. Yeah. Kenna. And they like... It was... Because they were like the only ones that said yes to Star Wars, uh, they got this crazy deal where they got like 95% of the profits from Star Wars toys for a while. And then it all fell apart. Hmm. Was it greedy corporations? Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty much. I hate those. <laughs> <laughs> those those are the worst. <laughs> those cookie corporations. Ruby wants in trouble. No, I'm leaving. What? Where did he come from? He was in the elevator this whole time. How could that be? Gotta plug these damn droid holes. It's like yeah. the image of like five robots taking an elevator. You know, I do think you gotta stop uh, Anakin. In this uh, new trilogy or the future of Star Wars, I I do think that we will never get just like crazy action sequence of a Jedi. You know, just having to make his way through some crazy facility in order to save the day, you know? Like, you don't think so? I don't, no, I don't think so. Like, Because, like, even the new movies, you get, like, one big, super impactful Jedi moment, which works really well, and I like it a lot. Um, but as far as just, like, watching 20 minutes of just a Jedi fighting a bunch of Force robots seal. or something, like, I don't, I don't think we'll see that again, you know? That's really fine. A, a lot yeah, it's okay. I'm not complaining. We got plenty of it here, and it got kind of exhausting after a certain point. Oh, right. Annie. Mm -hmm. Oh, Annie. Uh, two. Where's Obi -Wan? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Darth Vader at the end of Rogue <laughs> One was walking through a hallway killing people. Yeah. You know what? Actually, I take it all back, Leo. <laughs> Thanks for proving me wrong with one example. You're totally right. <laughs> I'm just saying... We can never ask for it again. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys are happy. This is all you're getting. Oh, you silly droidicus. Droidicus? Mm -hmm. That's her official name. Yeah, I remember that from Star Wars Battlefront. Are we going to do a name change for the new Star Wars Battlefronts ever? What do you mean? So, like, we, so we don't have to say the new one or the old one? Uh, no. Oh, like, yeah, probably Battlefront not. 2, answer the call kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Although that might be the last <laughs> game in that call. series. <laughs> could be. We're just going to brand the next one New Battlefront. They could like call the it Nintendo logo where it says new. They should just call it Old Battlefront to <laughs> trick people. <laughs> Battlefront 1 with O-N-E. They should name it Star Wars Battlefront 1, parentheses, 2003. <laughs> 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 or they could call it Bad Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Bad Battle <laughs> Front yeah, 2. They just gotta call it that. <laughs> Battlefront 2, Bad Company. <laughs> there we go. We, we did it. We figured it out. Great. Productive combo. Or Battlefield Front. That would ba work. Too. Battlefront Field. <laughs> Leo, it feels like I've been playing this for days. Years. <laughs> Battlefront 2. We have just crusted. 30 combat. minutes. I mean, oh my god. You have killed, I think, 2 million robots uh, yep. over the course of this video. I was hoping we'd was get counting. to Dooku. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to see. That's got it. My Let's boy Dooku. The <laughs> I like the way they're circling him. Like they're just taunting him. <laughs> oh, we got him Oh, now. we're going to beat him up. He has no solution for this. 
He's never faced more than one robot before. <laughs> Without Anakin by his side. Back to the elevators. Help me out here. There's two of them. Look out for that debris. That's far enough. You just hang back, Obi Wan. Okay, just just stand there. Does it? Anakin Maybe does just kind of rotate. Yeah, push him into the crate. Yeah, there, there you, you go. go. Nice. And, and get both of you guys. Oh, nice. You see that? You can't beat me. <laughs> Did Anakin you have can't a? Beat me. No, he's really he's cocky about it. Now that now that he's got his friend Anakin with him, he's all, "Oh, you can't beat me." Uh oh. Master, wait. This one's not. I just. I told you. Can't they just force jump? R2, How right. tall is this thing? It's a really big building. Well, Star Wars somehow manages to put endless pits in a spaceship, which was always strange <laughs> to me. <laughs> or bottomless pits, I guess I should say. They don't let up. Pretty uh, big spaceships, to be fair. Yeah, that's true. I mean, John Williams was on point, though, for the prequels. Oh, yeah. That's the best thing about them, I think, is getting more John Williams yeah, music. Yeah, he's, he's incredible. And seeing Jedi doing cool shit. Last Jedi also had some great songs, and they're on Spotify now. Oh. I've been listening to them. You don't say. I do. <laughs> he does say. <laughs> I do say. Quite, quite on the contrary, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Dooku's oh. got to be around the corner. I have to believe. We have to. I believe in Dooku. Who do you think came up with the name for Dooku? Uh, George. Yeah. I think that was pure Did George. you read my, uh, Leo? My, uh, uh -oh. behind-the-scenes investigative reporting on the fall of LucasArts? I might have, a while ago. It's, uh, reveals some of the names George Lucas worse. wanted to give to... Starkiller oh, from, yeah. from Force Unleashed. Yeah. Uh, there is... What were they? I don't, Luke yeah. 2. Luke 2. <laughs> Other Luke. <laughs> Bigger Luke. Uh, I gotta remember. George. <laughs> Dark George. Lucas George. Oh, Darth Icky. <laughs> right. Darth Icky. And um, Insanius. Insanius. Oh, that's good. so good. Isn't there a Darth Insidious or something? Yes. Yeah. Sidious, dark cities. I mean, we're, we're going up against Grievous. And they were like, you know, George, it's a great idea. Let's save that for the sequel. <laughs> and they never did it. <laughs> like, how do we divert this disaster? They should just have like a Darth Mad. I'm Darth sure that angry. was on the table. My name is Darth Pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Darth doesn't do his homework. <laughs> Guys, this game is mindless and repetitive. Yeah, but at least you're swinging a lightsaber. Yeah, John Williams is playing. Me thinks he Darth protests too much. <laughs> Darth <God>. protestius. <laughs> Darth protestius. Darth uh, testy. Yeah. Darth prostate. Hey, don't think Dar that Darth way. Testy as in like you know, you got a little bit of an. But then edge. also Darth testies. Darth ballsack. <laughs> Guys, that's not that's what I'm saying. Name. <laughs> That's okay. why I want to change my PSN handle from. <laughs> from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're trying to get rid of that one. <laughs> we had to have crashed into the lair. Come right? on, that tense moment? That loading must screen have culminated. is a huge spoiler. Yeah. What the hell? It's just them sparring. It's a friendly little jump they had before the game started. Oh, Ooh, yeah, I'm a couple good. goods. Oh. Can someone refresh my memory? Did everyone know Anakin was going to be Darth Vader at the start of episode one? Yes. I, oh, yeah. I, yeah, I remember hearing it around when people were talking about episode one. I was like, yo, you see that kid? That's Darth Vader. How did they know that? Was that in the extended universe stuff? Well, I mean, I think we've always known his name was Anakin Skywalker. Right? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And I mean, remember I the first poster? It was his shadow was Darth Vader. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that yeah, that was like that's how they marketed the movie for sure. Okay. The, it was like this is how Darth Vader came to be. And he was an evil little kid. Yeah, he was Helped mean. R two D two. How are they stretching the first scene into four yeah, missions? Yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> well, that's probably all they were allowed. Oh, to Oh, there see. he is. Oh well, well that's not Dooku, but Dooku's about to. He's about to CG flip into here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you okay? Oh, hey, guys. Dooku. Yeah, that, that's me. I, I got him in there. <laughs> You're probably Dooku wondering Gaga how I got him. Dooku. <laughs> Whoa! Your swords, please. We don't want to make a mess of things in front of the Chancellor. You won't get away this time, Dooku. 
Just because there are two of you, do not assume you have the advantage. Surrender while you can. Seamless. My power is <laughs> yeah, I assumed you skipped it. <laughs> it's like all those Metal Gear cuts where it's like, oh, here's like a screen, here's a cutscene, and it immediately just angles, and then the health bars show up. You know what move I really like is holding the lightsaber backwards, so it like it's going oh, behind you. Cannot you cannot move in this area. That's how I would it's hold like the a lightsaber. Fighting game. Yeah, Sam. How would you hold a lightsaber, Serial? Um, upside down. It's like, like a, a, like a have, cane? I would always be handing it to somebody else. So you have to hold it like blade, with oh, blade, you like have to hold scissors. The blade. Yeah. Good. It's just courteous. Yeah. That would be my name, also Darth Courteous. <laughs> <laughs> Darth Courteous. <laughs> if you hold it towards yourself, Serial, somebody's gonna force turn it on. Yeah. That's true. Get you. And I like how your in your dreams of being Jedi, <laughs> you're like politely giving your amazing weapon to somebody else. Hey, you take care of this. And then uh, in the expanded fiction, it's revealed your first name is Cheese. Oh. <laughs> Cheese Courteous. <laughs> Stranger things have happened in Star Wars, surely. I think it'd be funnier if your first name was revealed to be like Flirtius or something. <laughs> Flirtius Courteous. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh yeah! Crap! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, well, you got him real good. I do, I do like the move that he does. Uh, spoiler alert, Serial. If you, if we, oh, we're God. still not I sure if leave. you've seen this or not. We're like, <laughs> we're trying to. It's a mystery that we'll never get to the bottom. <laughs> but he does the scissor, the lightsaber scissor move to uh -huh. cut off his head. Oh. That's a pretty sweet. That's a pretty sweet move. Time out. Got to heal. Hold time. <laughs> I said time I don't believe out. in you. I don't believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the the banister thing broke. That was kind of cool. Oh, a Game of Thrones <laughs> reference. <laughs> you'll, you'll never time. beat me. Isn't there some Lannisters or something in there? He's, he's oh. texting Obi-Wan. How do I beat this guy? <laughs> I accidentally hit that thing on the wall behind you. <laughs> okay, I think I got to start countering. Do you want cheat codes? Oh, cheat codes. No, oh, see what I just codes? did? Whoa. Right, I don't need no cheat codes. Uh, don't force me to kill you. With the force. Yeah, force me to kill you. That's very clever. Just do that nice. over and over. <laughs> Wait, which one's Oh, no, this, this ledge has, has got him trapped. <laughs> okay, the red. Is, okay, I see how it works then. I thought the blue was your health for some reason, but now I understand. I understand now, right? God, Dooku. Dooku's kicking. Darth here. Tyrannosaurus Rex has got me. Oh, come on, boy. What are you waiting for? Are waiting for him? To the order. You're in See, trouble. I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to counter. It just doesn't. Oh, there you go. Do you have to block at the right time to parry or something? Is it one of those? I don't think there's an outright parry, but... This there seems go. good. Blink. Why didn't you just do that? Earlier. Looks good just like I kick him off a little bit. Thanks, Darth Bird. Oh, We're no. We're here, too. We're here to help. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Time! <laughs> you do have a lot of blue juice. Jedi oh. juice, I think they call it. Yeah. Yep. Force is actually controlled by uh, Jedi juice. <laughs> Running through your veins. Is that Morgan Freeman narrating <laughs> Star Wars? <laughs> it's somebody narrating Star Wars. Did you guys know that they're making uh, March of the Penguins 2 and, it's and they're going to air it on Hulu and Morgan Freeman is not narrating it? Well, then why? You don't got it? Morgan Freeman money? Well, that just didn't don't make that movie. That yeah, just, those penguins shouldn't be marching. Yeah. The penguins were the star of the show. Penguins, we're gonna have to ask you to stop. We don't have Morgan Freeman for this. All right, one. I'm gonna die. For Morgan Freeman, we saved for the penguins. <laughs> it just seemed oh. like a big oversight to me. Stick, <laughs> stick. <laughs> 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 okay, that's enough. Re Revenge of the Sith. Oh my God. I'll say. Oof. Well, we got to his final phase, yeah. I think. I mean, the yeah. Sith got the revenge. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. His head gets chopped off. That's a spoiler, but yeah, that's yeah, what sorry, serial. Yeah. Uh, let's check out a different game. We're now taking a look at the highest-grossing movie of all time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Uh, another George Lucas joint. JLJ? GLJ? Yeah. Another John Williams score, apparently. Ooh. This was directed by a certain Ron Howard, who is now joining the Star Wars universe. Mm. Oh, oh I thought you were going to say he was now joining us in the studio. I was like, oh, right, <laughs> Ron Howard. Uh, and it also stars a an actor who was in Star Wars. He played Wicket. A bunch of other Anybody? little roles. Warwick right? Davis? <gasps> Warwick Get? That's right. He was... That the narrator on was Arrested Development, right? Magic. Oh, wait, no, no, that's Ron Howard. Oh. We're talking about Warwick Davis now. Oh. It is called W. <laughs> yeah, and spell then it out. Colon Illo. Mm. <laughs> so okay, Lucas w presents, wrote, and produced. Yeah, or... well, there's like a series of books uh, oh, okay. that ended up coming out. I believe Lucas helped make the first one. The book. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think. Let's see. The sequels were written by... Finn Raziel is the, one of the characters in this game, so you can tell it has some George Lucas influence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't remember the... Bav Morda. Is that where they took Finn? They're like, oh, Finn, well, that was a cool mm-hmm. name. Let's use that later. So they didn't use Bav Morda. But this is basically their Lord of the Rings. Mm. And this was not a, a hit, or it was a hit? I, don't, I wasn't hey, sure if you were being sarcastic. It was pretty good. It wasn't the movie or the a game? blockbuster. Yeah. Are you talking about the, the movie, movie or the game? Okay. What about the game? Was the game a hit? The game is better than Zelda. You need a password. Oh. I mean, look at the detail on NES. Beautiful. Yeah. It makes Zelda look like crap. It, and it was. I mean, actually, the crap that it looked like. This is way more <laughs> detailed than Zelda. Like, yeah. look at lying. That looks yeah, like an be- actual. Picture. Let's look at this objectively, each <laughs> element, and see if it's better than Zelda was. That's got more, more text, s- more story, yeah. Yeah. yeah, more frames, more family members, like literally frames in the screen. There's like three bottles. Bottles are yeah. really hard to come by in Zelda. You can very clearly tell the player character from the NPCs because it's like some sort of weird coloring thing. <laughs> Zelda didn't have that. That's true. I just want to go in there to get my real doll before this trip, but my family's <laughs> oh, no, you're in there. Of Star Wars again. At some point, I'm, I'm guessing you're going to get MP, and Zelda didn't have no MP. Well, we talking about Zelda One, Zelda Two, Zelda One. Oh yeah, you're this right. is the title we're bringing. Ah, Willow, Nelwyn's Man of Prophecy takes these magic acorns with you. They can turn anything to stone, so it can't move. That seems cooler than some stupid sword. Yeah, yeah. from Zelda. You have the, the magic, magic acorns. acorns. I'll take magic acorns any day. That's. I'm not gonna say wait, no so, to magic acorns. Wait, so who are they quoting there? Because the entire box is in this character talking. So is it is the narration in quotes? It's Ron then, Howard, just like Arrested Development. Look, movies are just a series. You of have images the magic acorn, or whatever your argument was earlier. <laughs> Yeah, sequential images. That's right. At 24 frames. That <laughs> hair, the eyes, it looks so good. It does look pretty good. Do you guys um, Do you guys know the movie Strange Magic? That was yeah. a recent George Lucas CG yeah. movie, right? Because it came out in 2015, and it was like Lucas like produced. It. produced yeah. And it kind of made me think, I was like, oh, is this like a Willow successor, you know? It's got a hot 18% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh. That is pretty high. Hey, what is Phantom Menace at? Just oh, out of curiosity. Question. Yeah, well, I have it open. Let's see. You guys Probably higher some... than we think. Yeah, I'm going to guess that uh, my guess is like 50. 65. Whoa. I'm going to say 70. Okay. Oh, wow. You're really this, cool. This You're isn't certified look fresh. <laughs> All right. I already forgot what everyone said, but are you ready to hear the number? Yeah. You ready, Leo? You ready to have your heart broken, Leo? No, I'm ready. Okay. Fifty-five oh. percent. Damn it! George. Not certified fresh. Damn, not certified not fresh. Uh, audience score fifty-nine. So audiences liked it more than critics yeah. by four percent. Like the Last Jedi. Yeah, just like the Last <laughs> Jedi. <laughs> man. Weapons must be in hand in order to use it. So be, so be careful. <laughs> Make sure that when you're thinking, I should swing this sword, that it is in your hand. Wow. That... <laughs> She's still alive somehow with that logic. Should I? <laughs> Go and watch Willow, Reiner, if I've never yes. seen it. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Is it cool? Like, it do you is. think it holds up? Yeah. Uh, I mean, not as well as I'm probably hyping it up, but it's it's, t- it's an interesting uh, film from the 80s. Is Val Kilmer in this movie? He is. Okay. He's dreamy as hell. I do like 
dreamy Val Kilmer. Welcome, Willow. My name is Vonka. Please take this long sword. You have, quote, quote you have the long sword, end quote. That? Do it. Do it in Ron Howard's voice. You have the long sword. <laughs> That's it may good. be heavy and hard to use at first, but you should get used to it after a few fights. Orson Welles. Goodbye. Okay, now I need you to narrate where I'm going as Ron Howard. Uh, Cyril's really nailing it with Willow like voices head- and impressions. Willow's like the name it. of the character, right? Yes. Willow was headed to the right. <laughs> as the screen scrolled, she continued up he, into the... He. He continued up what into the, the hell? cabin. What the hell? Sorry, guys. <laughs> quote, it looks like nobody is around, end quote. It's so is that weird. Them? Is, that, that is, is that supposed to be Willow sort of thinking to themselves, like to himself of just... You yeah. Have the, okay. He looks in a mirror and says, you have the long sword. <laughs> Oh, Village of Dew. Nice. Yeah. Keep going yeah. on this road. Cool. Well, that's what I want to do. Leave me alone, lady. <laughs> no, seriously, though. You should be able to get to the Village of Dew if you keep going north on this road. Okay. Hey. Hey, you should be... Hey, hey. <laughs> come here. Look at these tree stumps. Man, we're heading to... And you can't cross over that grass. Oh. Nope. Music change. Have you ever crossed the field of grass, Leo? No, it looks dangerous. Yeah, yeah Pokemon. Oh, equip, equip it. Uh, yeah, you. there you go. Shield nothing. Cha cha. Oh, look, look at that. Shield nothing. Everything is permitted. <laughs> <laughs> shield nothing. Oh my God, this movement. Look at this. It's windy. Swaying in the breeze. Yeah. He's waving that sword. That's the new. That's how we. Every just, time you hit something, it feels like the game is over because you've died. Because <laughs> it, it like does. the music cutting out makes it sound like oh you've just been killed. <laughs> and then every the wind really died down. <laughs> oh my god! Ooh, don't care for that. Acorn. That's such an interesting way to do it. Nice job. Hell yeah! <laughs> Look at him. Look at that stone cold killer. <laughs> okay, he holds the sword uh, up. Well, I see no solution to this. <laughs> This is basically Skyrim because, of, like, the way people always hold their weapons in front of them when they're <laughs> running around. <laughs> so if it's windy, bad guys are around. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a pretty. That's the power of their that's a neat I- That's a neat idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> Acorn. 3D games do it like they usually like in Batman or something. It identifies when you've defeated everybody, yeah. right? Because you're in a 3D space, so you can't necessarily like you're never entirely sure if you've beaten everybody. But here, there's, there's I came really no way, right? Yeah. Question, yeah. like <laughs> you know if you've defeated all the enemies on screen. It sort of reminds me of like in Hanna Barbera cartoons where it's like the background is super like painterly, and then the, there's an element in the foreground that's like obviously going to move because yeah, it's colored yeah. differently. Uh, yeah. They're walking through that dark door any second this. now. Just, just run past it. You're speed yeah. running. You're just run pretend I'm rolling all over the place. Yeah. If there was a circle button on the the Nintendo controller, he would be mashing it right now. (laughs) Skulls cannot exist, so they must all die. Well, do you are are you getting experience? I don't think so. I think that's the E at the top where it says. Oh, I am. This game rocks. And I think the thing at the top is your level. Ah, God, that's like it's not the act of the game we're in. (laughs) Act one. Of Willow. What happened? Oh, you died. Boy, no! Is that a line from the Game movie? Over. Boy, no? Ron Howard, what do you got to say? It was. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, can we use password. our password? Oh, Leo, can we look one up? Yeah, sure. I want to see the final boss in this game. Yes, is a Val. I want to see digitized Val Kilmer, and I'm sure that Willow codes are at the ready. The internet can't stop talking about this uh, seminal NES game. I'll go die real quick. Do you want start new game at final area at max level with all swords, all shields, <laughs> all magic, all items? Yes, please. Let okay. me just die some to some slime here. Uh, I looked at the cartridge, and I cannot tell you if Val Kilmer uh, allowed his license to be used for this game. I cannot tell. <laughs> Like it look, I think it's it's, I it I think it's supposed to be Val Kilmer, but it it looks close enough that I'm not sure. So you're saying that someone either did a very good job of not doing Val Kilmer, or someone did a really poor job of actually using the Val Kilmer yes. license they had. They found the perfect middle ground. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's Val Kilmer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he won't sue us if we use this image. What the? That's your password, dude. Oh, weird. Can you, do you have to be at the main menu to put in a password? Yeah. In? Oh, how do you yeah. go to the menu? But how do I get back? Try down and start. At, hit that area. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Res yeah. A reset. Is there a reset? A little behind the scenes here. There you go. Well, it's nice to know that all rights are reserved used under authorization. Yeah. Tales of Dreams and Imagination. Cool, I love those. You can't read it to him, Leo? It's uppercase and lowercase. Uh, okay. Who's got the time for it? <laughs> I like how the Z Zat Zat like, like, well, it fought, like they couldn't rearrange the yeah, letters. Yeah, we didn't so have twenty six spaces here. We're not gonna have QWERTY keyboards. This game seems pretty solid. Yeah, seven and I have zero criticisms of it so far. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say a negative thing about it. Yeah. So oh, Leo just got a text here. It says, "What's up, hot stuff?" <gasps> no. Um, no! <laughs> <laughs> no one can know! I've been doxxed! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pivy7 and Ivy. Hey, doesn't that just say it all? Yeah. Have you guys seen C7 in? <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite movie. Favorite David Fincher movie. Lucky number C7 oh, sh in. Oh, shit, is that an O or a... Oh, there's no way of knowing. Oh, man, this oh, couldn't. Well, the O is... No, I didn't want that one. Wait, the O has a line. A back the zero has a line through it. Right. Oh. How do you say yes? I'm ready. Uh, I'm going to hit start. Anything? Yee, Tom. Try... Z oh. No, 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 no. Try... Uh, it's going to be an O. T or zero M. M. It's definitely a large... It's not like a lowercase O, right? Right. Hmm. Weird. Like, you want me to check your work for you? Let's see. Yes. So we got P, uppercase P, lowercase V, uppercase Y, 7 N, I V, 7 S, 6 Y. Uh, so that I, Y, I, 3, mm -hmm. it's Y exclamation point 3. Oh! There it is. I solved the puzzle. <laughs> oh no, what was the first one? Oh no! P? PVY. Uppercase P. PVY. <laughs> it's a. I'm not the only one who does this, right? Makes dumb little jokes about the random codes they tend to enter in games. No, you were absolutely the only one. Okay, that didn't work. We'll now try uh, a, an O instead of a zero. Yeah, I think it is an O. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, okay. You alright in there, Leo? <laughs> We're having fun. We're having a good time. You remember when, when games used to be this good, guys? Man. Boom! Yeah, we did it! I miss putting in passwords for sure. 999990. Nine, 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 you got all wow. the experience. Got, oh, I, I don't I'm know gonna why. Give you, Leo, all right, so. I'm going to make a call. <laughs> what's, what's, a, what's a quick way to spend all of Leo's money on Oh calls? my god, so. Willow. Hmm. He's got wonder. I'm on a, I'm paying per minute, Suriel, so <laughs> don't even joke around with that. <laughs> the devil eye? That's, wait, what, uh, what's the 112 strength? There, 115. Yeah, that's your your winner. I can't Shield wait to see oh. post-game oh. play. Oh. There's a lot of cool stuff heel here. Heel ball. Oh. Get o the heel ball. Oh, there's an ocarina in this game? <laughs> you bet there is. <laughs> what does Zelda have at this point? Does this, oh, that does, blows my mind. Does this have an ocarina before Zelda had one? Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, maybe. Oh, I totally there was, did. There was a flute in uh, the original Zelda. So then Miyamoto himself looked at this game and said, we have to get that Ocarina. And there's a flute in this one, too. And a Nakmar. That's a Wii remote. The Nakmar, not so much. Yeah, we you can even see the wrist strap. That's exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. All right. Look at that. Sha! 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 Do you think it's up here? I do miss this era in games where your your high level end game character looks exactly the same. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, uh, hello. Funny seeing you here. It's gonna uh, phase okay. through you here. <laughs> oh, what, what are, are you doing? Oh, okay. yeah, no, please, Cyril, you're, you're the master. What are you of doing here? This is not a place for the likes of you. <laughs> okay, see ya. You're right. <laughs> Man. You really hit the nail on the head. Hey, I decided this is a place for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I disagree. <laughs> okay, so uh, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to have wasted your time. So, what do you think? Oh, please feel free to look around the, the rest of the castle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might go around the castle. Let's see. Who knows? You'll find a secret entrance. That's got to be the way you go. What are you doing, right or no? And what if it's over here? Uh, that's What's old over here? news. We've been there, done it's that. More cavern. Oh, yeah. You think? 
Yeah, yeah for sure. Do I gotta show him, like, the Nakamar? Kill him. Uh, sh uh, hit him. I Kill can't. him. Hit him as hard as you can. What's All going right. on with my E? It looks like eggnog or something. <laughs> and egg, no, 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 no. Oh my god, it's the dawn the of egg laugh. technology. Egg, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, not the egg technology. <laughs> All right, that's probably not go. the right Mode one. egg. I bet I got to show him an item. Or kill him. Just whoop him. All right, Just hold on, I got magic. You got magic. It's not doing anything. Let's see. Well, you're trying to. Oh, I'm trying to do the Macarena. Trying to do the Macarena. Uh, fireball, yummy. fireball, fireball. Fire floor. Oh, you mean fire floor. Fire floor. Fire floor. Maybe the the, fire piece of the scrap of paper you had. That'll show them. Oh. No, I am not intimidated by that in the <laughs> least. <laughs> we should at least look to the right. Yeah, the right is probably worth checking. You can maybe give them that slip of Test paper. Storm. What is that slip of paper? It's a tur storm. Uh, what paper? There's a... Magic no, paper. Oh, it's a bombard, obviously. Bombard. Well, these are going to be scrolled. And a renew. Magic. This game has a cane, too. Canes didn't show up in Zelda until yeah. much later. I will say, though, no rocks cape, so Zelda's still better. No, but it has a feather, though. Oh, god damn it, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no Pegasus boots. That's oh, there you go. I like this music. Whoa. What does he have to say to that, Serial? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Do you have anything in items that might work? Have you checked there? Hit him up with that heel ball. Look at that statue. He's smiling. I like how the sound effects interrupt the music. That's fun. <laughs> I got well, a little waka. I got a side chain going. Necklace. Crest. Let's show play this. Crest. <laughs> hmm. Crystal. Should, should I we'll look up a walkthrough now? Yeah, that's what I'm doing, because uh, we have your phone. Oh, great, great. You're welcome to get it back if, if you want. Yeah, you can nah, come I here and get it. I use that damn thing. Okay. <laughs> I have a burner. <laughs> a $700 burner. What? <laughs> Whoa, oh, now you cool. belong in this castle. Oh, get away from me. Well, slime You're a kid. slime, well, get out of here. Oh, oh no, a monster. Work. Oh, I thought I really thought that was going to Get cool. you! Oh, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Not an especially great guard. Yeah, if, he, if he's gonna... Oh, oh, something I actually have to guard against. Nope, not for me. That is amazing that that worked, though. That was Good cool. The floor's made of beans. I'm a Metroid. Is music. You are a Metroid. Chilling. Sir, what should we populate the, the lower floors of this dungeon with? Nothing. There was like a... <laughs> just clear them out. <laughs> There's one guy roaming Look, the halls. We no one's too much memory already. <laughs> no one's getting past the guard. We do not have to worry about Look, this. It would ha it would be absurd for there to be a blob in me. It's the only thing he's scared of. What are the chances? <laughs> no one's getting in this place. Uh oh. Uh, mm. The animation. I like how as you walk <laughs> what by animation? him, <laughs> as you walk by him, you can remove a pixel from the side of his. Yeah. Oh, that's a that's a, a high level tactic. Yeah. I'm no. a bad man! I'm a bang! A warrior of the Eagle Clan! Why do you have my wing sword? Oh, a deke must have given it to you. <laughs> a deke who? <laughs> now I can put my strength behind my sword! Give it! <laughs> that was the best Bane impression. But it looks like the door to Nokmar Castle, Nokma Castle cannot be opened without a key. I think Ayrk was saying something that the old woman he rescued from this <laughs> castle Eric. has the key. I haven't seen her, though. Bye! Okay. <laughs> Do you feel in charge? <laughs> I was born in this castle. <laughs> <laughs> you are shaped by what it. What the fuck? Oh, I was born I here. I got him. I got the little scrap. He, he thinks he's going somewhere where he's going to make progress, but that's not the case. I gave him a very long speech. <laughs> you thought there was something in that room. You were wrong. <laughs> I don't keep anything in there. I'm I off to lunch. I don't care about this. <laughs> I don't give a f <laughs> I would say super replay this, but we are already beating it. Yeah. So. <laughs> That guy had so much to say. That was great. Yeah, he's very talkative bird. He, he introduced like three new characters <laughs> in that conversation. <laughs> he's my favorite character in the game so far. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll meet her later. Oh, oh, oh hello. That's Zambi. That's it. No, now he's oh. gone. He's oh. like, Are these guys invisible? He's one of them disappearing Zambies. <laughs> now he's going to be scared of you. Nope. Run away. No! 
Ow! <laughs> it's a visible zombie. What Whoa. the hell? It's night time. <laughs> What's happening? Look, if you don't, if you need ah, to the up, pig! He, did he like cover his face with his shirt there for a second? <laughs> <laughs> I think, okay. I, Excuse well, me, I have to cough. <laughs> uh, so, so he's turning around, right? Like that's the idea. <laughs> it totally looks like he's just pulling <laughs> his shirt up over his nose. Whoa. You stink! You're don't a look at pig. Don't look I can't at me. Leave. I can't leave. Don't look at me. Can you go just hit the, him with that a sword. door in the upper right? Oh, you you can't leave. Yeah, this it's like uh, you get, you're gonna have to hit crap. Him I didn't want to be this thing. All right, let's get that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Ow. what are you gonna do about that, huh? I'm gonna go oh, here. He's gonna, he's gonna walk through the gap. Is what he's gonna do. You want? Ah ha! I got your number, man. Oh, hold oh, on. Oh, he's pigging me. He's pigging you. Crap. You've well played. Got, well played. Well, I got thirty <laughs> magic. You uh, started me today. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. What a stunning game! I was impressed yeah. by that, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. NES. Yeah. Capcom. George Lucas. Oh, of course, it's yeah. George Lucas coded this all game. this himself. Yeah. What a talented man! I'll show yeah. you the real Lucas arts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you again in seven days.